right, fellas. Remember this name. Can identify with underdogs. You got three in this movie. Yeah, Talk right. about about that. Adam, obviously your character, and Charlie, and, yeah, uh, of and the kid. I, I think the thing that I connected with most was the that kind of underdog redemption tale, the get out of your seat sports drama that this movie is. Because I loved Rocky growing up. Mm -hmm. I loved them all, even the ones the critics hated. I loved yeah. three, four, five. That's not bad. Five, five. Okay. So, but most of them I loved, <laughs> and I. I'm a sucker for that, but I think the way it's told in this story is a little unexpected. The father-son relationship is is great, and and I think that's ultimately what people kind of really... Are you kidding me? You know this fight game inside and out. He needs your moves, your commands. Uh, I can't, I can't. Yes, you can. Because you see it, you see the passion that uh, right. you know, Charlie tries to connect with the son even though he had always left him. What, the way I always saw Charlie was, I hope people would forgive him as nasty as he is at the beginning. He's someone who has, excuse the pun, been knocked down in life too many times at the wrong time. And so he's kind of just given up. Uh, he's still trying to get him his way out of it, pay off his debts, have that big win. But emotionally he's given up because I think sometimes for people life is too painful, you know. So it's actually the relationship with his son. It's his son who brings him out, even reluctantly. Like even that, when he first saves him on the cliff, you know, there's that moment which I really love where he's really relieved and then he's annoyed that he feels that you know he, he doesn't want to feel anything how was it working with Sugar Ray Sugar Ray man the best. the best have you met him no not yet I'm going to Sugar Ray is first of all one of the, he is one of the nicest guys and most handsome how I can't believe that guy how was ever he? hit I said did Duran only hit you in the body because this what's going on <laughs> and he looks 10 years younger he looks 10 years younger than you right trust me it's sort of freaky um, but he gave me so much. You, you can really see the champ in him. With this movie, he was, he takes everything really, he's so committed. Ta make, takes it really seriously, and he taught me the boxing, obviously. But he spent a lot of time talking about uh, um, Angelo Dundee, his corner man. Mm -hmm. And he says, that's what you are, man. He says, if I'm a boxer, I don't care if I'm a robot or a human boxer, I'm looking out there, my corner man's got to have it here. It's got to have all the strength and emotion and wisdom right here. He says, that's what you're playing. And he goes, oh, that's all right. I hadn't even thought of that, you know. I'm intimidating. You're looking right at me. I felt you were my corner <laughs> man there for a second. I could be, man. Will be. You've taught me already, so right. I'm not going to mess with you. Talk a little bit about, though, uh, if Adam had to take on your old character of Wolverine in a little bit of a fight, how would that go? Look, Adam can take a lot of hits, but he's going to struggle with his head off, which is what Wolverine would do in about five <laughs> seconds. The old Adamantium would do... Take him out. Take him out, I'm afraid. I heard that Sugar Ray is trying to get maybe a little Manny Floyd fight getting started. Is that is that what you're hearing? You know, he, he like a lot of people in boxing, thinks there's, you know, boxing needs to really nurture its stars and tell the story of its stars, get that popularity back out there again. And the stars are going to fight each other. I mean, there's no two bigger stars out there in boxing right now. And they've got to fight each other. And as he said to me, he said, first of all, the purse would be ridiculous. But beyond that, if they don't fight each other, it's going to actually define their legacy more than anything they've achieved, you know? So it's ultimately better to fight and lose than to not fight at all. Can this movie maybe help boxing? I mean, the fact that it, it is bringing light to the sport again and you know the yeah. fighter did some good stuff for it can this do something as well i definitely think this movie would do stuff for it because even though we're set in the world of robot boxing in the end the robot that you cheer for and the robot that does well it's coached by a boxer you see the artistry in it you see the quick thinking you see the heart and courage that it takes boxing is a great sport it's the ultimate test and in the end in this world of massive big robots the difference is here and here. And I think that is what we connect to. When I say, my favorite movie is When We Were Kings. And when you see behind the scenes of the build up of that fight, it's phenomenal. And boxing needs to do more of that. They need a little more NFL in the way they market themselves, I think. NFL in the way they market themselves, I think. Thank you very much. No worries. Appreciate that. Later.